Hello, everyone. I'm Janet Salmons, Research Community Manager for Sage Method Space. Let's take a moment to look back at 2022. We started the year by asking big questions about the relevance of social research to help us to understand and find solutions and make a difference with the problems that we face in our world today. Luckily, we had many researchers from across the globe who were willing to contribute their insights. All of these researchers, writers, editors, doctoral students were willing to participate in video interviews posted to Method Space this year. We also offered three online events, two webinars, one about cultural issues in research design and another about uh, getting up unstuck and making progress in academic writing. We also participated in a meeting with the prepared team of researchers who are uh, trying to find ways uh, to address and prepare for um, the next global crises. We featured the authors of all of these books and editors and writers from a number of SAGE journals. Out of this, we have many stories, but I'll just share a few. First, global voices. We have global readership on Method Space and are happy to feature our uh, researchers from around the world uh, to share uh, their experiences. Um, we have lots of readers in Asia and we're pleased to find out about the Asian Qualitative Research Association, co-founded by Arcella Rosario and Safari Mbake. And they participated not only in a couple of video interviews that you can find on Method Space, but also in um, a couple of the webinars. Um, they are co-editors of this new uh, and very interesting handbook, Qualitative Research in Asian Context. And they invited a number of their contributors to also share um, posts on Method Space this year. And then we have new and emerging voices. These two researchers made real methodological breakthroughs. One as a recent doctoral um, graduate and another that is uh, still a student. Um, Jennifer Lawler and her co-researchers um, developed a very useful framework um, to help um, avoid and, and find track uh, fraud in online surveys, which is very important as we do a lot of research that way these days. Um, Daria came up with a very um, interesting approach for studying sensitive, painful, difficult issues with youth um, who typically do not want to answer our questions, but might be willing to draw and uh, create a graphic um, that shows how they feel and think about the issues. So both of them shared um, their uh, thinking in video interviews, and we were also able to share the open access articles that go into more depth. And then we have the smart and forward thinking voices um, by our contributors who were recognized with Fulbright this year. Uh, Trina Paulus, a regular contributor and co-author of Doing Qualitative Research in a Digital World, um, will be um, heading to Poland in 2023. Um, and we hope that uh, she will be able to contribute to the learning experience of students there who are um, naturally, um, you know, feeling a bit under pressure with a, a war uh, close by. And Shannon McMorrow, who uh, is using the techniques that she um, discussed in Photo Voice for Social Justice um, to study women in Uganda. And yes, we will also be posting dispatches when we learn about um, their experiences. And then we have courageous voices. Eva Okla was my doctoral student, which is how I know her. And I know that she successfully completed her uh, PhD 
and went on to um, a responsible position in a corporate setting. And it's also a very successful instructor in uh, a university teaching online. Um, but she took time out of her busy schedule to very candidly discuss um, the issues that disabled researchers face um, when they are trying to collect data. Um, so um, she not only shared her own experience, but also offered tips um, for others who are um, you know, looking for ways to uh, carry out their studies even um, and, and to bring in their identities as people with disabilities. So at the end of all of this and more that you can find on methodspace.com, uh, I think we can give a resounding yes. Research is relevant, not only for the people who read the studies once they're published, but also for those who um, interact with researchers in the classroom, in the community, as colleagues, and have the chance to hear their stories, and for the researchers themselves, who in many cases find it you know, very much a transformational experience. So uh, we look forward to continuing to amplify the voices of researchers from across the world who are um, making a difference and trying all kinds of new things. So we hope you'll join us in 2023.